Plod has sent me their Plod Note, which is an AI powered voice recorder. I think you can use it to have kind of a slim recording device that then can be all summarized with ChatGPT. I don't know, let's see what it's all about and put it to the test. This thing is very light, much sleeker than I assumed actually. This looks like a little magnetic piece if your phone does not have a built-in magnet. I think iPhones will not need this. Ooh, and a nice little wallet attachment. To get started, I went ahead and just scanned the QR code in the instructions, downloaded the app, made my account, and then I was able to connect the Plod Note directly with my phone. All took just a few minutes tops. All right, we're taking this thing on the road. My fiance and I are about to pick up our first puppy and we have a ton of questions about how to take good care of it and we have a whole list written down, like 30 questions. I'm gonna record the whole conversation, uh, probably 30 minutes or an hour, we'll see. And I really wanna see how well this does transcribing, summarizing via GPT and hopefully it'll give us one nice document after a long conversation that has the answers to all of our questions. So. Uh, we'll fast forward a bit to a little clip of me using this uh, with the puppy, and then we'll see how it goes with the summary. Hey, Dylan. Oh, I love his collar, too. Our leash is green. Isn't it? Oh, my God, it's not going to look green. We have some questions about like the turf pad also. Yes. Um, you just hose it down outside. Yeah. For the play pen, or like the pen area, mm -hmm. we, should the pee pads be around there? I have one, so set up similar to what I have over here. Uh, at night, should we be making sure that we can hear him at night? Is it important to be able to? I do. Um, I don't keep them in the, the room with me, but I do have them in a place where I can hear him. Okay. So I didn't want to bore you with that conversation, but I wanted to show you how quick it is to link up the Plod note with your phone in the app and then start uploading the files and generating a summary from there. You can see here that over the standard Bluetooth network, it's actually a pretty slow transfer speed, but you can go ahead and get on the device's Wi-Fi. And once you're connected there, it's a pretty fast transfer I think I was getting about 600 to 800 kilobytes a second. And this is in real time to show you just how long it takes to get all of that started. And then you can see here almost up to a meg a second. And this was for a conversation that lasted an hour and 20 minutes transferring over. And that's it. It loads up right in the app as a separate document or audio summary. And you can choose here a number of different ways to summarize your conversation. And I chose a Q&A here. And now going a little bit faster, we can see it still doesn't take that long to generate a full summary. And here you go. Now I read through the summary on my own time and I think it really captured every single question and answer that we discussed. With the summary, the recording, honestly I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with how much it was able to capture here. For some final thoughts, it really did a good job of capturing and summarizing the entire conversation. We ended up talking for an hour 20 minutes and within a few minutes I had a quick fully transcribe conversation, then fully summarize with the whole Q&A, but now why do you need a device like this? I thought I could go ahead and just upload a voice memo to ChatGPT, and I actually was having trouble trying to get any kind of output from just uploading an audio file and having it work. Now, before you go in the comments and say, oh, well, you just have to do this workaround or this API or whatever, for somebody who just wants to quickly get a recording, plug and play, it works really well, actually. This thing also does record phone calls, so you put it on the back of your phone, and you switch this thing up like that, and then you can record a phone call. Both sides of the conversation have a similar type of summary. Now, would I buy it? 
This device itself is pretty cool, but as I said before, your phone can still do a voice memo. There are workarounds. If it was just a one-time fee for this slim device and then you have all sorts of summaries, unlimited, that would be pretty cool. The fact that you got an $18 a month subscription, $18 a month to run this when a lot of people might be paying for GPT anyways. I think there's gonna be a lot of other apps and services that just do the same thing. So I don't know if I'd wanna be paying an extra subscription fee for this. But it's a pretty cool device. If somebody just wants something to plug and play and work without thinking about how to get the software working, I like it, but overall for me, it's a no-go. Uh, but let me know if you guys have questions in the comments. Again, I think it is kind of cool how they got this working and uh, we'll be interested to see what else comes in the future in terms of these AI-powered devices. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.